Welcome back. Eugene's 4J School District is planning to spend $13 million on a new home using federal dollars from the pandemic. Last night, the school board voted to finalize the purchase of the former Wells Fargo building on 99 East Broadway. The cost to buy the building is $2.9 million. Plus, it'll cost about $10 million bucks more for asbestos abatement and other improvements and updates. Most of the money would come from the third round of emergency assistance money during the pandemic. That has to be spent by September 30th. The rest will come from proceeds from property sales and reserves. 4J Superintendent Andy Dye says the new building is the perfect size for what they need. About 50,000 square feet. That's zoned for commercial use. And the price was right. And frankly, the, the price was um, very, very compelling. It's a very advantageous deal for the school district, which, which means that's the case for taxpayers. Um, and maybe you know somewhere in the neighborhood of a, a quarter to 30% of the cost per square foot than what we see in other commercial buildings on the market right now. 4J is the sixth largest school district in the state of Oregon, and they've simply outgrown the current facility at 200 North Monroe Street. The plan is to move administrative duties to the new office by the fall of 2025. So what will happen to the current building? Well, Dye says they haven't made any decisions, but there are a lot of possibilities. We know that we have conversations about um, an elementary school, YG. We know that we have conversations about where can we best locate our GED program, our welcome center, our community learnings program, our community transition program, um, career and technical education. He says those spaces are currently rented, so they'll look at all the possibilities and then prioritize them and come up with a plan.